This is Taking Stock on Bloomberg. I'm Pim Fox. My next guest says that the sovereign debt crisis in Europe may seem like it's an ocean away. Well, it is, but don't be fooled. Mike McCormick is the chief executive director and COO of a Global Business Travel Association. He joins us now from Washington, D.C. Mike, good to have you with us here on Bloomberg. So tell us, what are the potential effects of a Eurozone debt crisis on business travel? Because right now it seems that business travel has come back. It's actually strengthened in December. Yeah, I wish I was coming with better news. Uh, and the environment right now certainly seems very good. We've had uh, about eight consecutive quarters of very good growth here in the U.S. in business travel, which has been a leading indicator for the economy and for GNP employment. All the figures show, you know, pointed uh, north and we're very good. We're very concerned, though, with what we're seeing on the horizon. If the uh, euro debt crisis doesn't get resolved in a fairly efficient fashion over the coming uh, months uh, here in, in 2012. Now, Mike, is this because, you know, banks and financial companies in Europe aren't going to spend a lot of money sending their executives and their employees back and forth across the Atlantic paying business class fares? I mean, is that what it boils down to or is it larger than that? It's much larger than that. It's not just about travel in Europe originating from Europe. Certainly those companies will cut back substantially and we've already seen the impact in the EC. But what happens is that here in the U.S., a business travel, a good portion of business travel, has been driven from international outbound growth over the last three years. So when that starts to compress, when all the traffic that was feeding airline growth and business class and first class in premium, you know, premium economy classes starts to uh, decline or at least the growth goes away, it has a really significant impact across the industry. What we're seeing is that if we get into a scenario where the, uh, again, the debt crisis isn't resolved, uh, even in a moderate environment, we're talking about losing about $40 billion worth of uh, business travel coming out of the system here from the U.S. Uh, it, has, it will have a very direct impact and therefore a direct impact on the overall U.S. economy.